Do you ever wish there was a second you? Not gonna lie, that would be really... Mr. Ben, do you mean me or you? I mean me. By you, I mean me. Or the person watching this video, not you. Go away. Do you ever wish you could clone yourself? How cool would that be? You could have like an army of clones doing all of your dirty work. Well, uh, yeah, sorry, I can't help you with that. I wish I could, believe me. The next best thing is cloning yourself digitally. So today I'm going to show you how to give yourself a twin brother or sister or 10. <laughs> and to make it cooler, we're going to do it with the 360 photo. So there's bends in all directions. Here's what to do. We're going to take a whole bunch of identical 360 shots of our location using manual exposure to make sure the exposure stays the same in all of our shots. I'm also using the remote self timer to give myself time to put the phone away. With each of these shots, however many you choose to take, move to a different part of the 360 each time and make a funny pose. It's important to make sure the lighting conditions are exactly the same from shot to shot so take these as quickly as you can also try not to overlap your body with your previous position which will make editing later on much easier now in Photoshop we're going to create a new document that matches the dimensions of the 360 photo once you've stitched import the files as a whole bunch of different layers in the same document now with the top layer we're going to use the eraser tool make it really big and we're going to paint out the general areas around me it doesn't have to be exact just erase most of the photo from that layer other than you now repeat the process one by one with all layers except the very bottom one to reveal all 11 people in different parts of the photo you might want to go back and fine-tune the photos that need a little more removed from them now we're going to export at high quality upload to Facebook and voila it's a 360 photo of me and my 10 closest friends there are other apps you can use to achieve this exact same effect all you need really is the ability to have several layers and erase parts of those individual layers and that's it pretty easy right people will love this effect so expect lots of likes and ha-has on your photo haha -ha, nice one mr. Ben I'm gonna try that By the way, you won't be hearing much from me over the next month. I'm currently working on my next video course called Virtual Tour Pro, and yeah, it's a lot of work. It's going to be the equivalent of like 70 YouTube videos, all on the topic of virtual tours. It should be ready in late October. This is going to be the ultimate guide to virtual tours, so it will be worth all that hard work and lack of a social life, because I have a raging social life. But Mr. Ben, what about me? I thought we were bros. Well, maybe if you helped out with some filming and editing, I'd call you my bro and not just sitting around playing Pokemon Go all day long. Nah, no, it's all good. Anyway, you can find out more about Virtual Tour Pro in the link in the description. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Now, I gotta get back to it and stop making these silly clone photos. Talk to you soon. Wee! <gasps> Hope Mr. Ben doesn't find out I ruined his desk.